Hello everyone, welcome you all back to the channel. And before I start today's topic, let me once again remind you to subscribe my channel if you have not yet done and do press the share button and notification icon. And uh, today this topic is entirely different uh, and it is going to help everyone whether you are a housewife or you are a student or uh, you just want to express yourself uh, with your friends or with your uh, colleagues. Uh, so uh, this is actually a video containing the idioms and idioms uh, which are related to money and definitely all the expressions which I brought for you will help you in improving your expression. Okay, let's take our first idiom that is look like a million dollar box. That means when somebody is looking very beautiful. That doesn't mean somebody is very rich. That means somebody is looking very beautiful. Uh, how to use this in a sentence? Uh, there is an example given. Wow, Mary, you look like a million dollar box night or this evening I love your dress that means you are appreciating the pillow uh, in the in terms of beauty or in terms of the dress okay you like you can say so you, you you are watching your friend who is coming towards you and who is looking so attractive you can say uh, uh, my dear friend you are looking like a million dollar bucks today okay next Born with a silver spoon in one's mouth. That means fellow, one somebody who comes from a very healthy family or who is born in a very wealthy family. Wealthy and successful family. Then you usually you say, uh, you always say, he is born with a silver spoon in his mouth. So, how to use this in a sentence? John was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Why? Because where is bought him everything he wanted and sent him to the private school even. Like somebody who is always seen uh, driving luxury car and uh, wearing expensive clothes. So you can always say uh, he is born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Then next one to go from rags to riches that means to rise from being poor to having a lot of money somebody who was earlier very poor pehle to wo bahut garib tha but later on he became rich okay so how to use this idiom into a sentence uh, actor jim carrey went from rags to riches how one time he was living in a hut but he continued to work hard and finally he became one of the most successful businessman in the world okay means uh, he rose from rags to riches right uh, you can you can say uh, you can take another example like abraham lincoln uh, the former president of USA rose from rags to riches by the dint of his hard work. Next, pay an arm and a leg for something. That means uh, to pay a lot of money for something. Bohot jada. Koi cheez bohot expensive ho jaye aapke liye. Okay? Uh, so how to use? You can also say that something post an arm and a leg. How to use this? Chocolates are very expensive. Uh, I nearly paid an arm and a leg for a small amount of chocolate. Or uh, everything is so expensive. Uh, I have to pay an arm and leg. Uh, especially when I buy the things from a mall. Okay. Means oh jada mehengi chiz Next. To have a sticky finger. Sticky finger. That means to be miser. And uh, miser means can use hona. To have a sticky finger. Sorry, not can use hona. Uh, to be a thief. Chori karna. 
to have a sticky finger that means to be a thief uh yes the manager fired the cashier because he had a sticky finger this, this is an example of a sentence why because he had stolen more than 2000 dollars in a month or you can say uh the, the uh, person a person a was caught by the police because he had a sticky finger yes next to give a run for one's money that means like you can see the two people in the picture to compete with someone at a level and make them really work hard for the win that means kisi ko competition mein lana like somebody out of charity or out of uh, uh, out of is uh, out of his spirit to win ek dusre ko dekh ke jab hum inspire ho ke kuch hard work karte hain so that is called to give a run for money like you uh, like suppose you and your friend you are hard working but your friend was not but on watching you he also became hard working and uh, that's how you gave him a run for your money like uh, an example given here jo really gave me a run for money in the chess tournament he almost beat me means means jo and the speaker had to work hard okay next to pony up yes to pony up means to pay for something or settle debt uh that means suppose you have to pay to somebody uh, that means you ask the fellow to pony up when means you ask the fellow to return your money uh, by saying pony up for my Five dollars, which you owe me. जो तुम्हें मुझे देने हैं. You owe me means जो तुम्हें मुझे देने हैं. I told my roommate Jane to pony up her portion of the rented money. Rent money. That means मैंने मैंने Jane को बोला कि वो अपना जो rent वाला money देना है उसको pony up करे. Means मुझे return मुझे दे to pay करे मुझे. So you can use this sentence like your friend. You have taken hundred uh, rupees from your friend. and the later uh, your friend needs and he says to you pony up uh, pony my 100 rupees to me next break even that means neither gain nor lose money or to be able to make a balance break even means balance kar dena even kar dena like you went on a trip and you had to pay 100 dollars or or uh, you have to pay their 20000 rupees uh, so 20000 rupees aapke expenses hue but wo jo 20000 aapke expenses hue utne hi aapne kahi aur se gain kar liye so then you talk to your friend ke uh, the trip to the beach or uh, the trip to that place cost me hardly 20000 rupees but i almost broke even After gaining money from other source, for the example, you can read here that trip to the beach cost me dollar hundred, but I almost broke even after winning dollar ninety in a contest. Okay, next is break the bank. That means to be very very expensive. Like when you went on a on a trip uh, and the trip was. lengthy uh, of almost 7 to 10 days then that was very expensive then you use the word you use the idiom break the bank taking a week long vacation would break the bank that means would be very expensive there is no way i could afford to do it that means very expensive or you can say buying uh, buying or chain uh, would break the bank no i can't afford that next to be close fisted this means to be miser conjuge hona stingy hona okay stingy means miser hona conjuge hona ah uh, kali so close fisted he won't even buy snacks for the christmas party or you can say uh, 
my grandfather is so uh, so uh, uh, my my grandfather is so, so close fisted that he doesn't switch on the ac even in extreme weather okay next to go to dutch i'm uh, sorry to go dutch that means when uh, a group of four, uh, four four friends go to a restaurant and uh, they pay for their money means everyone pays for everyone's money means when a person only one single person doesn't pay that is called to go dutch okay that means everyone pays for their own meal at a restaurant means the 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 bill doesn't the bill is not paid by only one so see the example we had a date last night and we went dutch that means i and my friend paid for our own bill next midas dutch midas king midas you must have heard this name that means to be able to make money easily king midas uh, had a boon like whatever he touched that converted into gold okay so this i think this phrase came from that story uh, now you can say my uncle had a midas dutch uh, because whatever he starts he becomes very successful okay or he starts earning money whatever he starts he starts earning money there and then only next receive a kickback that means to receive bribes or to receive money illegally yes examples you can see here the police chief was arrested after the news reported that he was receiving kickbacks from criminals to ignore certain crimes bribes mile ki to crimes ignore honge na next dekhiye next example the minister received kickbacks for illegal appointments pata hai india mein to ministers always receive bribes and appoint the appoint the unworthy people next living hand to mouth that means to live in poverty oh uh, the family had been living hand to mouth ever since the father lost his job or you can say we should help the people who live hand to mouth next to roll in money that means to have a lot of money like uh, earlier you have noticed a phrase uh, to be born with a silver spoon it's like that some people are born to roll in money पैसे में खेलना पैसा ही पैसा चारों तरफ सराउंडेड विद मनी नेक्स्ट मेक बोथ एंड मीट दैट मीन्स अगेन टू मेक द मनी नीडेड टू पे फॉर फूड एंड मिल्क इट्स सिमिलर टू द इडियम नंबर थर्टीन लिविंग हैंड टू माउथ एंड मेक बोथ एंड मीट यस आई डोंट मेक दिस एग्जाम्पल आई डोंट मेक मच फ्रॉम माई जॉब एज अ कैशियर बट आई एम एबल टू मेक एंड मीट ओके I always have enough money for rent and groceries that means I'm not so poor that I can't meet my ends that means I can fill the stomach of my family members as well as mine so students this was all for today and uh, we'll meet again stay tuned I'll bring some more uh, beneficial topics for you thank you bye bye